Hi, my name is Kip Williams, and my partner Blair and I are working on our co-curricular project talking about prosthetic resistance. And we use Pythagorean theorem to help calculate um, the forces, and we're trying to see how much the uh, resistance that the femur has and the prosthetics have based upon what we've gathered. So what we did was we asked two questions, two main questions that we hoped that we could answer by the end, and that was A, what is the result force of the traction system, and B, what impact, if any, will this have on the position of the femur? And for us to be able to calculate the resistant force, we had to get the, we had to find the force component using a 10 cosine and sine. And we calculated that using the angles. Yeah, we did the, so in relation to the center, we use that as the base. So this is what we're doing the cosine based off of. So when we give you this number, negative 19, positive 17, and positive 61 degrees, that's the angle that the femur is placing at when you put 10 pounds of force on it based upon whatever it is. And you'll notice X and Y over here, those are the separate forces that were placed on it in different things. And for X, we use cosine, and for Y, we use sine using uh, trigonometry. So what we did was we got the result of 10 cosine negative 19 degrees, and this was 0.9455. And of course, you work that all out, you get 9.455. And then for another one, for the force of number one, we got 10 sine negative 19 degrees. That worked out to 3.256. So we calculated all of these and added all of these results that we got up to a sum of, for the result of x, we had 23.866. And for um, y, we had 8.414. So what we did was we plugged this into this right here, this equation. and we plugged in um, the result of x for the x, result of y for y, and then we just did that in the Pythagorean theorem. We ended up with a 640.381, and if you take the square root of that, you get 25.306, and if you round that, you get 25 pounds. So what we did was we answered question A, which is what is the resulting force, and so our force was 25 pounds when we worked it all out. So the impact, if any, that this will have on the femur is it will we'll have to put more resistance in it than just letting it roam free.